Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today we're on lesson seven where we're going to learn the foundational visualization library in Python called Matplotlib. So in our previous videos, we learned about NumPy, which was our numeric Python that's gonna allow us to perform a lot of mathematical operations, which is very important. We learned about our pandas library, which is gonna be able to store data that we have as a data frame so that we can explore it which is also very, very useful for data analytics and data science. And then now we're gonna talk about how to actually visualize our data, which is very important when we want to explain technical concepts about our data to non-technical audiences. Dashboarding visualizations is like very, very important in the new wave in this field. So it's very, very important to know how to make great, great visuals. And so we're gonna start with Matplotlib. So our objectives today, we're going to cover Matplotlib, why should you care, what is it actually used for, and we're going to create a couple of visuals ourselves, which is going to be a scatter plot. We're also going to create a regression line and a histogram. So why should we care? So Matplotlib is going to be used for quick data exploration. You can get a lot by looking at the spread of your data in a histogram, looking at how your data trends across time, et cetera, et cetera. Even though Matplotlib is not going to allow us to make fancy visuals, they're pretty easy to make and pretty quick to make. So they're more for us as data analysts and data scientists. I personally, if I were going to use this in a presentation to a client, would not use Matplotlib. I would use something like Seaborn or Tableau, but it is very, very useful when we want to get a quick glance at our data. And storytelling in general is just very, very important as a data analyst, as a data scientist, as a business analyst, et cetera. What does the data actually, what is the story that it's telling? Okay. And visualizations can help you tell that story. So what is Matplotlib? It's a library for creating lower level visuals, okay? So you're not going to have a whole bunch of fancy things that you can do with these visuals, but they get the job done. This plot functionality lies in the PyPlot module, okay? So there is going to be a library that we import, which is Matplotlib and the module PyPlot so that we can make these plot. And like I said, it's great for quick exploration and you can't model your data until you know what's in it. So data exploration is very, 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 very important. All right, let's, so let's start making some of these visuals. We're gonna start with a scatter plot. So just like we've imported the libraries for NumPy and Pandas, we now have the, mod, the matplotlib library in the PyPlot module, and we're gonna alias it as PLT. I'm gonna read in the same data that we use for the Pandas tutorial, and we're gonna quickly look at the head of that data. So now I can see the first five rows, the columns, et cetera, et cetera. So now I want to make a scatter plot. And scatter plots are very useful when you have two numeric continuous variables. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to assign two different objects to this figure called plot dot subplots. Okay. So I need to create the actual figure of a plot. And I need to have axes so that my plot knows what to put on the X and Y axis, okay? So I'm doing plot dot subplots. This fix size equals 10 by 10 is optional. It's just gonna show you, it's just gonna tell you how big you want the plot to appear on your screen. So we're gonna play around with that momentarily. And then I want to assign the two different variables, numeric variables that I wanna plot. So I'm going to call the data frame. So data frame and in brackets, I'm going to pull out the square feet living column. And then I'm going to pull out the price column. And I want square feet living to be on my X axis and the price to be on my Y axis. Then on my axis object that I have up here, I'm going to call the type of plot I want. So that's going to be dot scatter. That could be dot bar, that could be dot hist, et cetera. There's tons of documentation online for matplotlib, but we want a scatter plot in this case. And then I'm gonna run in the X and Y that I assigned. So I want square feet living on my X axis, price on my Y. I'm going to change it from scientific notation to just regular plain numbers. So I'm calling that my axis just have a plain regular number. And then I need to show the plot. So I'm gonna do this dot show. 
okay? So when I run this, I get a visual here. I get my price on my Y axis and I get my square foot living on my X axis. And I see as my square foot living increases, it looks like that it can be a slight increase in price. So there's like a positive correlation here. Now, the outliers could be influencing that correlation. We're gonna talk about outliers in another video, but now I can see how these two numeric variables are related. So say for instance, I want to make this image smaller on my screen in my Jupyter notebook. I can change the fig size to five by five and that's what it does. It makes it smaller, okay? So that's all that that fig size parameter does. So that is our first scatter plot. Like I said, nothing too fancy, no titles or anything yet. We're just getting quick, straight to the point. How does this numeric variable associate with another numeric variable? Okay, so outside of this scatter plot, I can add a regression line, right? Which is going to tell me the slope pretty much of my data and how does sale square feet living relate to sale price, okay? So I'm gonna have these objects M and B and I'm gonna call numpy again, dot polyfit. I'm gonna pass in my X variable, which is square feet living, pass in my Y variable, okay? And then I'm gonna do dot plot. I'm gonna plot my X, the regression line formula, which is Y equals MX plus B. So that's going back to algebra. I'm going to make that line red and this is still taking it out of scientific notation, okay? So for my regression line, I get this nice sign, this nice regression line that looks like it's a positive correlation. Now, keep in mind that this regression line could be heightened because of outliers. OK, but we know that it would have an overall positive correlation. This regression line is also stopping at three point five million, which this is stopping at eight million. OK, so all of those things we need to consider as data analysts and data scientists. But if you want to do a regression line, this is how you would do one. OK, so those are the first two visuals. Now let's talk about a histogram, which I think is one of the most popular things to do because histograms let you get the spread of a single column. So when you're interested in a single numeric continuous variable, you wanna see if it's skewed to the left, skewed to the right, et cetera. A histogram is gonna be that. So I only need one X and we're gonna look at square feet living. Now I'm gonna add some more functionality. So the dot title, I'm gonna add a title. The X label, I'm gonna add the X label and the Y label I'm going to add as well. And here I get my histogram, right? Where I see that it's skewed to the right. So it's always where the tail is. So the tail is on the right side. And I see most of the houses in my data set have a square foot living of about 100 square feet to 2,500 square feet. That's the bulk of my data. I do have some bigger houses all the way up to 14,000 square feet. But I see here that I have a few that's 8,000 square feet, but most of the houses in my data set are smaller homes. I have my labels and I have my chart, okay? So that is a histogram. And there are tons of other visuals you can do, bar charts, pie charts, et cetera. I highly encourage you to look at the documentation online, but this is how we go about using Matplotlib for visuals. So that being said, thank you for tuning in and watching Learning with Jelly. Stay tuned for our next video, which we're going to make even more fancier visuals using Seaborn. Thank you. Bye-bye.